Hi, greetings in the strong name of Jesus Christ. I'm Andy Umeri, evangelist, singer, songwriter. I'm here today at my house yeah. presenting my program to you. God bless you. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Satan will bind you, girl, here. You have no authority here. In Jesus' name, amen. Today we are reading from Jonah chapter 1 and 2. God said to Jonah, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here in the name of Jesus. Come and explain this sermon to your people. Bless your people today as they listen. Satan will bind you. Get out of here. You have no authority. All authority belongs to Jesus Christ and to me. The word of the Lord came to Jonah. Go, came to Jonah, son of Amittai. Go to the great city of Nineveh. And preach against it because its wickedness has come up before me. But Jonah ran away from the Lord and headed for Tarshish. He went down to Joppa where he found a ship bound for the port, for that port. After paying the fare, he went aboard and sailed for Tarshish to flee from the Lord. There then the Lord sent a great wind on the sea, and such a violent storm arose that the ship threatened to break. Ah. All the sailors, not here, all the ship threatened to break up. All the sailors were afraid, and each cried out to his own God. And they threw the cargo into the sea to lighten the ship. But Jonah had gone below the deck when he lay down, where he lay down and fell into a deep sleep. The captain went to him and said, How can you sleep? Get up and call on your God. Maybe he will take notice of us and we will not perish. Then the sailors said to each other, Come, let us cast lots to find out who is responsible for this calamity. Ah. Oh. They cast lots and the lot fell on Jonah. So they asked him, tell us who is responsible for making all this trouble for us. What do you do? Where do you come from? What is your country? From what people are you? He answered, I am a Hebrew and I worship the Lord, the God of heaven. Who made the sea and the land? The, this, the terrified, this terrified them, and they asked, What have you done? They knew he was running away from the Lord, because he had already told them so. The sea was getting rougher and rougher, so they asked him, what should we do to you to make the sea calm down for us? Pick me up and throw me into the sea, <laughs> he replied, and it will become calm. I know that it is my fault 
that this great storm has come upon you. Indeed, the men did their best to row the boat row back to land, but they could not, for the sea grew even wilder than before. Then they cried to the Lord, O oh Lord, please do not let us die for taking this man's do not hold us with accountable for throwing Jonah into the ocean. For you, O Lord, have done as you pleased. Then they took Jonah and threw him overboard, and the raging sea grew calm. At this the men greatly feared the Lord, and they offered a sacrifice to the Lord, and made vows to him. But the Lord provided a great fish to swallow Jonah, and Jonah was inside the fish three days and three nights. Jonah was inside the fish three days and three nights. So, Hallelujah. The Bible says God sent a great fish 